Hi everybody, Nels Heiberg back with another unboxing. And I know I start all of them out the same by saying this is a fun one, but this is a fun one because it's my very first box from them. So I kind of have no idea what I might find today. Today it is the Nocturnal Readers box. So you have some information there, but I'm going to post their URL in the description down below. But this is my my very first box from them and I can't remember if I signed up for three months or six months or what I signed up for but there will be others uh, if I remember correctly on the website it's described as a book company aimed at adults and it features darker subject matter so it will have monsters or maybe mysteries or different kinds of things in that genre along with little knickknacks and things like that that are often the most fun so nocturnal readers box what do we have here uh, you can see I'm opening my trusty knife nice big sizable box um, and it feels kind of packed so that that's good and to see what we have here open it on up Oops. okay open it up to see that we have, ta-da, okay, lots of stuff, lots of paper it looks like. So, all right, we have paper that I will throw to the side and recycle later. All right, a cap. I'm not necessarily a cap person, but that doesn't mean I won't try it. Captain Tricks, I think it says, black cap. Yeah, Captain Trips. All right, so there we go. Actually, I have to eh, make it a little bit wider. I have a big head. So, but there we go with that. Um, then we have, looks like the books themselves. I can't remember if you could choose the number of books that you receive, but right here I can feel three books. And so that's great. We have Mapping the Interior by Stephen Graham Jones. So there's the book there. Um, I should say these are all new books. They're not used books. I do subscribe to some of those. But this is a horrifying inward looking novella. So you can see it's not all that thick. Mapping the Interior is a literary horror tale about race in America deeply rooted in the contemporary Native American experience. Ah, the author is um, a member of the Blackfoot tribe. tribe. So written by a Native American. Um, walking through his own house at night, a 15-year-old thinks he sees a person in full Blackfeet regalia step through a doorway. All right, so we have that kind of mystery tale happening. Then we have um, The Grip of It by Jack Gemmo. Not sure. I'll look at the back. Um, Jack Gemmick, or G-A-C for the first name and G-E-M-C for the last. But The Grip Diet, or The Grip the grip of it. So looking in, the, in my um, screen, I got a little confused there. So we have this author. This is, um, let me just see here, a woman who was a finalist for a Penn Award. Uh, let me see, she teaches in Chicago, love Chicago, um, and edits nonfiction for Hobart. I don't think I've ever submitted anything to Hobart, but um, I'll have to add that to the list. So, touring their prospective suburban home, Julie and James are stopped by a noise, deep and vibrating, like throat singing. Uh, ancient, husky, and rasping, but underwater. That's just the house settling, the real estate agent assures them with a smile. He is wrong. All right, so you can see what we have there with the grip of it. So, nice standard size novel. Definitely looks, looks and sounds promising there. And then the third, oh, okay. <laughs> this book is full of spiders. Bye. David Wong. So we have this book. It even says on the front, seriously, dude, don't touch it. New York Times bestseller, the sequel to John Dies at the End. Haven't heard of that. So this is, it's written on red, so I need a light to see. You will dismiss this as ridiculous fear mongering. Dismissing things as ridiculous fear mongering, fear -mongering is, in fact, the first symptom of parasitic spider infestation. So I don't have a fear of spiders per se. 
Um, I mean, if something drops on me, I'm going to scream because things shouldn't drop on me. But if I see a spider on the wall, I'm like, oh, there's a spider. But still, that doesn't exactly mean that this is going to be nothing. Um, interesting. David Wong is the pseudonym of Jason Pargan. Okay, so I wonder what's going on with the racial connection of Wong, but um, we'll see. I'll do some digging online. But here's a nice thick book. Um, this book is full of spiders and they're not jumping out, but that doesn't mean they aren't there. So those are the books from the Nocturnal Readers box. We have also a pin. Okay, yeah, so just a standard, standard pin with a little clasp in the back. It is, okay, I can see now it's a face the brain on top i can show you the green and that that's the pin so actually i can just take it off the card can't i ah might take a little too much trouble but we have this pin like with the green face with the um pink brain poking out looks like something that might be good for my denim jacket as i add things to it uh we also have okay i'm not sure what this is looks like a just a Hmm. A drawing sound looks like it's kind of maybe going with the spider book because we have someone in the mirror Maybe not quite alive, but there are spiders and there are bruises or other kind of um, Skin eruption so okay, like I said nocturnal readers aimed at adults. All right, but this is um, It's also on a piece of fiberboard. So it's nice and thick. But We have that little piece of art uh, and a couple of things on the bottom. Okay, there's the the nocturnal readers box, infested and infected. Okay, that's the theme. Oh wow, and this is a bookmark, and on the back, cockroaches. So we have that kind of sense of infestation and um, being infected. So that's a good theme for the month, I think. It's something that's kind of up my alley. Um, the card that explains what's in here. I will look at that in a minute. And then a postcard, no stamp, but still postcard. If a man dethrones God in his heart, then Satan must ascend in his position from Salem's lot. So there's kind of an ominous phrase for you. We have that. And then there is one more thing, nice and wrapped up. I get the feeling it's a mug, just because I think there's the handle here, but this is wrapped up very well. So, like Christmas, I just get to tear right into it. Um, oh, and I think something is in it as well, but the mug itself, just throw it away. All right. The power of coffee compels you. So I'm not a coffee drinker, but this will definitely... I was going to say, this will definitely be a nice pen, pencil cup, or maybe a gift for someone. We'll see. But we have this mug, and in it, we have some, is it a ball? We have a piece of paper first. Oh, it's a bath bomb. All right, so if you want to get all snugly with your infected and infested books, a nice blood red bath bomb. Um, I don't know if it has a, let's see, tizzy, busy fairy apothecary. So again, yeah, I, um, be a little tricky to see with some of the writing, but I'll make sure to look it up if they have a URL, but we have a bath bomb. So, all right. In the infected and infested box, again, August theme, monster mayhem. So again, I should be clear, August 2017 is the date here. So if you happen to be looking in the future and you come back, this is what we have. Infected and infested. There's a new, re uh, let me see, two of these books. These two are new releases. So, oops, mapping the interior and the grip of it. These are new releases. It says this book is full of spiders is a previous release. So we have those three books, an exclusive mug designed and created by Jeff at exhumedvisions.com. So I'll try to add that to the description. Uh, featuring Jessica when we run out of coffee or The Exorcist. So we have this, um, an exclusive bath bomb from Alice at Fizzy Fairy Apothecary entitled Infected Infested. There is a fun surprise in the center. 
Okay, that has me interested. Um, there's a surprise in the center of the bath bomb. So I wonder if it's going to be a fake spider. Okay. There might be a bath in my future because i got to find this out. Um, an exclusive hat that inspired by The Stand by Stephen King. So that must be what um, what Captain Trips means. I'll have to look that up and see. Oh, you can already see that. Yeah. Um, I've been wearing it. So I'll have to make that a little bit, a little bit larger. An amazing art print. And yes, I do agree. Amazing art print by Allie Burke entitled The Woman Who Never Killed Bugs. So that's what this is. I like that. Um, check out her work at deadspiderhands.net. So I will add that to the description. A glow-in-the-dark pin inspired by Patient Zero by Jonathan Mayberry, killed by badass Joe Ledger. So I hope that's not a spoiler, but this is a glow-in-the-dark pin. All right. And then lastly, a creepy bookmark or two to help you conquer your fears. So, as usual, I can't remember what I paid for the box, and I always pay, get a subscription, you know, three, six months and save a little bit, but this is a lot. So, we have uh, three books, the hat, the mug, the pin, the bath bomb, the artwork, and then a postcard and a bookmark and the actual card itself. So that is Nocturnal Reader's Box. As I said, my first one, but not my last. So until the next box arrives, I'm Nels Hybert.